All right, peace, love, justice. What's up? It is I. This is me, Jose Alfredo Ra. Coming back to you in this month of March. Today is the sixth. It's a Sunday. The energy of Archangel Michael, right? The energy of Ra. So let's get into this message for all of my Scorpios, no matter what placement. Scorpio, what's up? Make your way to the front. So we have the color orange going again, pulling in from that sacral chakra energy, the creative energy, right? Spring is very near. So we have new energy manifesting. Also have some jasmine right here for that relieving of any anxieties or any stress going. And the Venusian energy within me has some Bartenura. Cheers. All right. Let's see what we have here for Scorpio. All right, so thank you for liking the videos. If it resonates, thank you for sharing. Thank you for leaving positive comments. Thank you for following me, subscribing, right? All right, what do we have here for Scorpio? No matter what placement, eighth house Scorpio energy, right? What spirit animal oracle message do we have here? Speak Scorpio, speak for Scorpio. Scorpio, we have trust in divine detours, coyote spirit, number six. So yeah, Scorpio. So trust in divine detours means, hey, right? If you had a plan, if you had a map, right? and you feel like you were following the destination of the map and all of a sudden the GPS switches it up, don't get frustrated, right? Go with the flow. This is the universe tapping in, right? Saying we need you to take a detour, right? But you're still gonna be divinely guided. One and six, the self and harmony coming in. That adds up to a seven, so some information could be coming your way, okay? What else do we have here for Scorpio? Speak to us, Scorpio. Speak to the Scorpio, thank you. No matter what placement, speak to Scorpio and show them the next messages, please. We have Porcupine Spirit, 48. We have time for beginner's mindset. So on this divine detour, it's telling you, Scorpio, that you need to get ready, right? Start with a beginner's mindset, which means hold on to all of the knowledge that you gain and all the wisdom you gain from all your experiences, be them spiritual or here in the material. But beginner's mindset tells you you need to make space, right, to learn new things. Four and an eight, a sense of completion and understanding the power that is within you. It's also the number 12, which adds up to a three. So time for a beginner mindset because there could be new things that you need to learn, right? So that it can help you in the creative process. Final message for Scorpio, no matter what placement. Speak to us for Scorpio. Okay, speak to us for Scorpio. There we go. So, we have Owl Spirit, you see clearly, 43, right? That's a seven, again. That is that number, right, of knowledge, spiritual knowledge. With the Owl Spirit, this again, it's, a, it's your guides, right? The Owl is like a spirit guide. This is them helping you to find clarity in the understanding. Crown chakra open, right? Receiving downloads. Number six, beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. Lay a solid foundation, right? This means lay a solid foundation within yourself. Get that root chakra in the right position, the right spot, the right level of balance okay so and we have a six again a number of harmony and balance right all right let's see what's next for scorpio trust in divine detours so scorpio should trust in divine detours Nine of Swords. So, this Nine of Swords, again, it's that energy of, right? 
when you are so far deep into your thoughts, right? That now you are like visualizing the the worst possible worst possible outcomes, okay? Um, Scorpio, this is when you have let fear come to such a high um, peak, right? I don't know if that's an oxymoron because high and peak mean basically the same thing, but when you've let fear overcome the reality that is what's really happening, right? So with this Nine of Swords, let it go. The Divine Detour, don't be afraid of it. Don't fear it. Release that. Porcupine Spirit in time for a beginner mind. Okay. There we go. Four of Cups. Time for a beginner's mind. Especially when it comes to love, Scorpio. When it comes to expressing your emotions, right? When it comes to being open to receiving with that four, right? Because this could also be that, that energy of like... Hmm. So you know when you let the exterior mislead what the interior contains? So this is also being kind of in a sense like drawn to things that are pretty on the outside, right? But not realizing that they are empty, right? Or it has no substance. And not realizing that there are true things that are that are actually alive, things that have substance that are right there for you, but you're not quite paying attention to it, okay? Also with a beginner's mindset, be open to the possibility of a balanced love connection, okay? You see clearly now, Owl Spirit for Scorpio. The Emperor. You see clearly now why? Because you are stepping into your Divine Masculine energy. You're stepping into the energy of the Emperor, which is connected to Mars, which is connected to Aries, the Initiator, right? This is trusting that in all the experiences, you've gained what is most important, right? Which is wisdom, which is that understanding. And you see clearly now that with every step you take, every action that you commit to, right? It results in you creating the life that you are so working hard to manifest, okay? And you must do this with a sense of nobleness, righteousness, right? Um, and you can't be closed off with the emperor, right? The emperor, because some people like to say like the emperor could be like cold, controlling, right? But there, that's a polarity, right? Because the emperor could also be so focused on using all of his energy, right? The energy of Aries initiating all that passion and desire into creating something stable for themselves, right? So that once they feel secure enough in their stability, that all they need from someone outside of them is just true emotional love, a true emotional connection, right? Don't forget that. Let's not play the emperor out to always be like this cold-hearted, controlling type, right? That's very um, feminist-based in a sense, but that's also like a polarity, like everything has a polarity. So, three of coins, fever spirit, lay a solid foundation, okay? This means lay a solid foundations in the connections around you because to create, you know, you're going to have to create with people. You're not going to be able to do this solely on your own, right? By yourself, which means you're going to have to learn how to balance out the energy within you. You're going to learn how to, right, work with different minds, different perspectives, right? To create something new in your life that is, right? More solid. All right, final messages for Scorpio, 917, if you're still with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give it a like. King of Wands. You see, this one is talking, Five of Cups. You go from the Four of Cups to the Five of Cups. Look at that. You go from the Emperor to the Nine of Cups. Let those emotions out, Scorpio. Final one. Page of Swords. At the bottom, you will eventually have to make a decision or a choice. It's up to you. But with the King of Wands from the Nine of Swords, is once you release yourself from that fictional tale that you're telling yourself in your mind, right? 
you will realize that you have this energy of the fire king, king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? So you could have fire in your chart. Also, this could just be connected to the energy of Mars, right? Because the original ruler of Scorpio is Mars. Pluto comes in with the transformation and shake fuck things up. <laughs> you saw that, right? That was a sign. Don't let your flame go out, Scorpio, okay? Don't let your flame go out as a king of wands. You must understand how to tap into the energy around you. I thought it was gonna work. Okay, wait. All right, Scope, so again, don't let your flame go out, right? It's back on. So understand that that passion desire within you can never be extinguished by any outside force. It can only be dimmed by yourself. So you must be in the right state of mind, okay? Because when you have that King of Wands energy, again, you can make a way for yourself always, right? Because you will be guided and supported from that sacral chakra energy from that creation energy, okay? Four of Cups to the Five of Cups says, let it go, let that mundane go. Let the, st stop the mourning over things that are no longer present to you because it prevents, right, the flow of change to come into your life and allowing for something beautiful and blessed to come in. With that, Emperor and the Nine of Cups, you are working diligently, right, to make sure that you can make those desires and those wishes, right, come into fruition. And you have accomplished a lot with the Nine of Cups. You're sitting there, right? Be happy at all the accomplishments. Be happy of all the accomplishments, right, that you have made tangible in your life thus far. There's so much more to go, right? And with the Three of Coins, and the Page of Swords, definitely you are being watched, right? But again, the Page of Swords is young energy, which is time for a beginner's mind, right? The Page of Swords is young, fresh, new perspective, right? This is being given new information, new insight, right? A new skill to be worked on and to express. And with the Three of Pentacles, it's very fitting because in a collaborative effort, new fresh energy is what you are channeling. All right, Scorpio, so that was your personal reading, right, for this week of March. It's the 6th, 2022. So if it resonates for you, thank you very much. Feel free to leave a comment. Thank you so much, Scorpio, and I will see you very soon. Peace, love, and justice. I'm out.